Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to handle one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships inside Filament and how to display them. So let's get started. Now, so far, we have kind of seen how to do it. So uh, I showed you guys how you can actually use select input and then, you know, populate it with all your, uh, you know, records from your database. However, that's not the official way of doing things, handle relationship inside Filament. It's kind of like the shortcut way. So let's go ahead and update that to the proper way of doing it. So let's go back to our code, guys. And for those of you that haven't seen the previous episode, I'll just do a quick recap. Uh, we have two tables. We have a categories table with a name and a slug. So a super simple table. And then we have a post table, which is going to be like a blog post. And then the main thing that's important for the relationship is going to be this foreign ID. So we have a foreign ID of category ID. So we have a one-to-many relationship where... A category can have many posts and a post can have only one or belongs to a single category. So on our post resource, as you guys can see over here, in order to display it, we were using a select and then on the options, we were getting all the records from database. And this will work, however, it has some limitations. So the first one is, if you have a very big table, let's say 10,000 records, this is going to slow down your application, maybe even crash it or maybe give a timeout. So that's the main issue and it's hard to search this. So the proper way to do this, guys, is you need to get rid of this and then use a method called a relationship available on the select. And this relationship will accept two arguments. So the first one is going to be the relationship name, function name defined on your uh, model. So if we open up our post model, as you guys can see over here, I have a relationship of category, okay? And obviously, this is for the category uh, model. So we can go ahead and add this as the first, first argument. And then for the second argument, we can go ahead and give it the column name we want to use to show in the drop down. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to say name. And that's all we have to do. If you go ahead and we reload, this is exactly identical to the previous code we had where we were manually getting all the records from our database. As you can see, it does work. I can go ahead and save it. So just like that. And again, uh, the second argument is going to be what is shown in the drop down. So here, instead of name, I could use uh, do we have a slug on our category? I completely forgot. We do so i could maybe for example go ahead and use slug here okay and as you can see it also works you can also add you know id if you like obviously id doesn't really make sense so i'm going to revert it back to name so that's how you handle it here now if you guys would like to add a search functionality also easy to do you can go ahead and add a searchable to it add a method searchable and it will make this a searchable field so i can go ahead and say p and it will go ahead and search and show PHP and LiveWire. LiveWire was the previously selected one, and that's it. So this makes it so if you have a very large table, it won't load everything at once, and it will give you the option to search what you're exactly looking for. Very nice. So that's how you handle it inside forms, guys. And this will work with one-to-one -one or one-to-many. Even many-to-many -many relationships will also work. If you are in a hurry and you need a many-to-many -many relationship, you can go ahead and add a multiple here and change this, you know, instead of category, it's going to be like categories, something like that. And it'll work with men-to-men -men relationships as well. I will do a separate video on men-to-men -men relationships. So I'm not going to go ahead and focus on this too much today. All right. So now that we have it on the form, what about on the table? Now, I already covered this, but I will do a quick recap for you guys. So if you want to show the relationship on your tables, uh, you can go ahead and use a text column. So let's go over on our table. So here I have a text column. And then in order to show the relationship, we can go ahead and again, refer to the relationship method. So in our case, it was... Uh, category okay and then inside as the second argument you can do a dot this is going to be used to represent the column name and then you can put it whatever column name you want so it's going to be category dot name right and again as you can see we're getting php live or laudable i could go ahead and replace this with id for example and we get the id right i can even go ahead and say created at right makes no sense but as you can see so this is how you display some property or some column of your relationship inside your tables and very easy to do, okay? And of course, it is sortable as well if you guys want, so you can chain call all of these. All right, so now that we have covered uh, one way of representing this, what about the other way around, right? What if uh, we want to show all the posts that belong to, for example, a live wire, right? So I think live wire has two posts or one post. How can we show it over here? Now, one way of doing this is we can use something called a relationship manager, and it gives us a very nice UI to view all our relationships and also to edit or create them. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. So in order to create a relationship manager, uh, you can actually go ahead on the Filament website. I will have the link in the description. 
uh, go to the panel builder make sure you are on version 3 scroll down there is a section called managing relationships i will have the link in the description and if you scroll down there's going to be a section on creating a relationship manager and the reason i want you guys to know the documentation is because i don't want you to memorize this command so we need to write, run this command to create a relationship manager all right and so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and copy this open up our terminal so you're going to go ahead and type in php arts and make filament relation manager now as the next argument you're going to pass in the resource that is going to display or show this relationship manager right so in our case it's going to be our category resource right i want to show this relationship manager on our categories right so it's going to belong to the category resource right and if you look at the documentation it's basically said the owner model right now it happens to be exactly same as our case right so it's going to be a category resource so i'm going to go ahead and type that in category resource the second argument is going to be the relationship name okay on the category model so in our case it also happens to be posts so if i open up our category we don't actually have the relationship so let's go ahead and define that public function uh, posts and we can go ahead and say this dot has many posts okay and that should get that job done so we can go ahead and say posts and the last argument is going to be the column name or the column used to basically show these posts right so if you look at our post model we have a bunch of different ones i'm going to go ahead and use title okay you can use slog or maybe thumbnail i guess i don't know but i think uh, title is the best option so let's go ahead and hit enter and this will go ahead and create a relationship manager for us so let's go ahead and take a look at it guys i'm going to open up my file explorer on the left on the resources if you take a look at category resource there's going to be a new folder called relation managers and then inside it is the one we just created right the post relation manager and if you open it up it looks almost identical to actually to our resource page it has a form it has a table now there is a property here post which is we don't need to touch that if you typed it correctly in the command but you can customize this if you like and then yeah we have a table and a form exactly identical to our resources so this is customizable so let's put that aside go ahead and open up our uh, category resource i'm going to open up our category resource so first we need to actually register this and in order to register a relationship manager you go you need to open up the resource you want to register it on so in our case it's going to be the category resource scroll down there should be a get relations method and inside this return go ahead and add that here so i'm going to say posts uh, relation manager class okay that's all we need to register it all we need to do so let's go ahead go to our categories do a quick reload and boom all of a sudden we have all the posts that belong to this live wire category and you have the option to delete edit and again you, we get a nice looking model here and even create posts in place right super awesome guys and then we can go ahead and check out maybe laudable as well we have one over here I don't, i'm not sure if php has a post it does just like this guys so a very nice looking now what about this kind of form right the, the table only has the title and then when i open up the form we get a you know just the title here how can we go ahead and customize it so this is where the relationship manager comes into place let's go ahead and open up the file as you guys can see we have the form and the table you can go ahead and add any input you would like here so for sake of simplicity i'm going to go ahead and copy that from our post resource so i'm going to go ahead and on our form i'm going to go ahead and just copy it from here let's copy the entire schema and now that we have it copied we can go ahead and paste it over here okay now i do need to import all of these so let's copy all the imports from here i don't really want to do it one by one again so let's go ahead and do that and hopefully that's all of them it is okay good so now if we go ahead and we do a reload and i click on new post we get the exact same layout we have on our post page very awesome now there is one thing to be keep in mind guys we don't actually need this category over here uh, filament will automatically set that for us so i need to go ahead and disable that or delete it so let's go ahead and find category where is it we don't actually need this here okay filament will automatically set the category to live wire or whatever category you're viewing right now so let's go ahead and create a new post i'm gonna give it a uh, test post something like this some random color all of that a random tag let's click on create and as you can see it automatically even though i didn't define the category it automatically is now a live wire category okay 
So just something to keep in mind, you don't need to actually define the relationship itself inside this form. Filament will automatically handle that. And that is it, guys. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the table as well. Now for the table, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to copy it from our post page. I'm just going to go ahead and add our slug. And then maybe add a checkbox of a published. Okay, and I think it's lower P. I'm not, I might be wrong. Let's see. It's checkbox column, actually. My bad. So let's go ahead and do a quick reload. And now we get this simplified or minimalistic table here. And we are also able to create relationships. So very nice, guys. Let's go ahead and check out maybe Laudable. Same thing over here as well. And of course, you can go ahead and edit these if you want as well. Now, last thing I want to show you guys is going to be how to update these action buttons here. Maybe you don't want the ability to edit or delete a post on the categories page. You can go ahead and on your tables, just scroll here. There is going to be these different arrays for actions. And again, the names are very obvious, right? Create action, edit action, delete action. You can just go ahead and comment these out or delete them if you don't want them, okay? So if you don't want them uh, shown on your page, you can go ahead and just comment them or delete the line. And as you can see, these actions are not shown. And same for the bulk actions. So these bulk actions are when you select multiple items. So we have the ability to delete all. You can go ahead and also comment these out as well, if you like, okay? And that's it. Now this empty state is when we don't have anything, like no relationships. So it will show that button. Uh, let me go ahead and actually bring back the delete button. If I go ahead and delete this, this is going to be the empty state, this last one over here, okay? Empty state action. So if I go ahead and comment this out and we do a reload, we no longer get the new post button. Now, in any case, I actually like these buttons. So I'm going to bring them back in. And that's it, guys, for today's episode. So I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe so you get notified of my latest videos, especially Filament, Laravel, and Livewire. And that's it, guys. On the next episode, we'll cover uh, management relationships. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.